Once upon a time, they lived upon a grassy bluff. Billy the little and Billy the middle and Billy the biggie. The Billy goes gruff. Billy the biggie, the Billy goes gruff. They ate and ate the grass all day until it all was gone. They ate all the clover till none was left over. They were lawn mowers, those Billy goes gruff. Delicious. And rich and nutritious. It answered their wishes, that yummy fresh grass. It answered their wishes, that yummy fresh grass. Billy the little ran down to the river and onto the bridge he hopped. Clippity cloppity, hippity hoppity, up jumped a troll and he hollered out, Stop! Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Oh, please, Mr. Troll, I'm very small, and you look very hungry. Billy the Middle Goat Gruff is coming next, and he's much bigger and tastier than I am. Well, all right then. Be off with you. I'll wait for Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Billy the Middle ran down to the river and onto the bridge he hopped. Clippity cloppity, hippity hoppity, up jumped the troll and he hollered out, Stop! Up jumped the troll and he hollered and stop. Who are you? Said the troll, I'm Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Oh, please, Mr. Troll, I'm not very big, and you look very hungry. Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff is coming next, and he's much bigger and tastier than I am. Well, all right, then. Be off with you. I'll wait for Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff. Billy the Biggie ran down to the river and onto the bridge he hopped. Clippity cloppity, hippity hoppity, up jumped to the troll and he hollered out. Stop! Who are you? Said the troll. I'm Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff. Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Oh, yeah? Billy the Biggie, he lowered his horns and charged straight at the troll. And end over end over hill over glen and over the mountain that bad troll flew. Over the The Biggie! The Billy Goat's Gruff! And Billy the Biggie, the Billy Goat's Gruff! Mom, what's that word? That says tortoise, Huggy. What's a tortoise? A tortoise is a very big turtle. And what's a hare? A hare is a kind of rabbit. Why don't they just call the story The Turtle and the Rabbit? <laughs> well, that's a very good question. Can we just read the story? All right, then. One day, the hare was teasing her friend, the tortoise, and she wasn't being very nice. The boastful hare could run really, really fast, but the kind old tortoise was very, very slow. To be so slow, it must be sad. It must be very, very bad. The tortoise, he got pretty mad. The day of the big, big race. Well, let's have a race, said he. You're too slow, you can't beat me. I can. You can't. Well, let's just see. The day of the big, big race. Pinky said go, the hare he flew. Over the hill and out of view. It looked like tortoise was stuck in glue. The day of the big, big She laughed. Ho, ho, ho. That old tortoise is slow, slow, slow. I can't be beaten. No, no, no. The day of the big, big race. Poor old tortoise, sure enough, moved so slow and ho, 
huffed and puffed. He was tired, but he was tough the day of the big, big race. I am miles and miles ahead. I think I'll take a nap. She said in a carrot patch she made a bed the day of the big, big race. Snore the day of the big, big race. So old Tortoise trudged along, whistling a happy song. He was slow, but he was strong. The day of the big, big race. I won't give up. No, no, no. His confidence began to grow. Come on, legs, let's go, go, go. The day of the big, big race. Even when the hill was steep, still he climbed and still he creeped, and still the hare was fast asleep. The day of the big, big race. Finally, he passed the hare, fast asleep and unaware. The finish line, I'm almost there. The day of the big, big Began to cheer and cheer, and slowly toward as he drew near, the hare awoke and said, Oh dear, the day of the big, big race. The hare began to run and run. Oh no, oh no, what have I done? Hooray! The slow old tortoise won the day of the big, big race. The lesson here is plain to see Whether slow or fast you be If you work hard, you will succeed The, the day, day of the big, big race The day of the big, big race Just 
and Buggy to tidy their room before going out to play. <laughs> Those kids. Do you know where they are? I think I saw them in the backyard. I'll go find them, Jen. Wow, it's so cool to look at all the little insects. Yeah, the ants are my favorite. My favorite is the grasshopper. <laughs> that reminds me of a story. And I think this might be a good time to tell it to you. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. The grasshoppers do cartwheels. And all they do is play while the ants work all day. Digging in the sun. Hi ho, hi ho. The 
The ants go digging in the sun. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go digging in the sun. The grasshoppers dance for fun. And, and all they do is play while the ants work all day. Grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! The grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! They never helped. They wished they had. And now they feel really bad. All they did was play while the ants worked all day. The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho! Hi ho! The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho! Hi ho! The grasshopper said with a grin, "We'll never shirk our work again." And the ants all shout, "Hooray! Hooray! 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 Hooray!" Hooray! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
silly pigs. Buggy, did you just take Huggy's apple? No. Hey, my apple's gone. It wasn't me. Well, Buggy, what's that? Um... Hmm... I think it might be a good time to tell you a story, Buggy. There was a boy who watched the sheep The silliest boy you ever did see One sunny day, who knows why He thought for fun he'd tell a lie The boy cried, Wolf! Please, please, come! Hurry, hurry! And up the hill, a farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick. I played for fun. The farmer said, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. Okay, I promise. The very next day, at half past ten, the silly boy cried wolf, wolf again. And up the hill, the farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick. I played for fun. The farmer says, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. Okay, I promise. But that same day, at quarter past two, a big bad wolf came into view. Into the field, the wolf did creep. To scare the boy and steal the sheep The boy cried Wolf, please, please come Hurry, hurry, run, run, run Wolf, wolf, it's not a game Please come now But no one came The silly boy, he shook with fright That wolf stole every sheep in sight The little boy was very sad Because he knew that he'd been bad He decided there and then I'll never ever lie again The most important thing to do Is always, always tell, tell the, the truth, truth. <laughs> Okay, you two, snuggle in and close your eyes, and I'll read you the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Yay! Little Red Riding Hood went out one day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She was going to Granny's far away. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She followed a path through the deep, dark woods to get to Granny's as quick as she could. Uh-huh. His hat and said, How do you do? Uh huh. Uh huh. She said, My granny is feeling ill. I'm bringing her cookies to make her well. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Said Little Red Riding Hood, I must run. Uh huh. Said good day, and she walked away. But the big bad wolf knew a faster way. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. The big bad wolf came to Granny's house. Uh huh, uh huh. And poor old Granny was all alone. Uh huh, uh huh. Granny, get in the cupboard. That bad wolf said. Then he put on her clothes and jumped into bed. Uh huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh The wolf said 
dear, come over here. But the little girl knew something was weird. Uh -huh. Better to eat you with. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. How cried Little Red Riding Hood. Uh huh. Uh huh. And in ran a hunter who was in the woods. Uh huh. Uh huh. The hunter grabbed the wolf and he put him in a sack. And the big bad wolf, he never came back. Uh huh. In the forest Papa bear, mama bear, baby bear Sat down to eat their porridge Ooh, much too hot Growl, Papa bear, let's go Walk in the forest That's when Goldilocks came by Found their house in the thicket Knock, 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 no answer So Goldie entered the kitchen Mmm, smells good she grabbed a spoon, though she had no permission. Papa Bear's porridge, way too hot. Mama Bear's porridge, way too cold. Baby Bear's porridge, just right, just right, just right. After Goldie had her fill, she felt lazy and tired. In the living room she spied chairs of three different sizes They looked quite inviting so Goldie thought she'd try them Papa Bear's chair, way too hard Mama Bear's chair, way too soft Baby Bear's chair, just right, just right, just right just as gold he settled in that chair Broke into pieces Gold he went upstairs and found Three nice beds she could sleep in They looked quite inviting So Papa's bed she creeped in Papa Bear's bed, way too hard Mama Bear's bed, way too soft Baby Bear's bed, just Sleep. Three bears came back home Soon as they stepped in They knew they were not alone Brr, Someone's been eating my porridge Growled Papa Someone's been eating my porridge Said Mama Someone's been eating my porridge Cried Baby And they ate it all up Ate it all up They walked into the living room And what do you think they noticed? Brr. Someone's been sitting in my chair Growled Papa Someone's been sitting in my chair Said Mama Someone's been sitting in my chair Cried Baby And they broken it up, broken it up Upstairs in their bedroom now What do you think they noticed? Brr, someone's been sleeping in my bed Growled Papa Someone's been sleeping in my bed Said Mama Someone's been sleeping in my bed Cried Baby and they Goldilocks woke up and saw three brown bears staring at her. She screamed, Help! Jumped out of bed and ran away with the clatter. Down the stairs and through the door, Goldie's gone forevermore. Our three bears, they scratched their heads, fixed the chair and made the bed. 
kids and sat down to eat their porridge. And that is the story of the three bears. Yeah! Like you, you can buy my man. 
magic beans. Magic beans, what do they do? You plant them and they'll grow so huge. Plant them in the ground and overnight they'll grow all the way up to the sky. Side of the woods. Wolfie arrived at Grandma. 
grandma's house Crept through the door like a little mouse Grandma saw the wolf Then she screamed oh! And ran into the closet so she couldn't be seen I will wait just right here For Little Red Riding Hood to appear Wolf put on dear grandma's clothes Her lovely night dress and glasses on his nose What a clever wolf I am Pretend that I am dear grandma sick in bed. <laughs> I hope Red Riding Hood gets here fast and rescues me. This wolf is bad. Just then, Red Riding Hood arrived at grandma's house. She opened the door and walked right up to her grandma's bed. Grandma, I am here, poor thing in bed. I brought you some yummy bread. Thank you, dear. I'm feeling sick. He broke down the door and came inside. What's going on? Are you okay? I heard you scream from far away. Hey, big bad wolf, get out of here. And don't you come back. It's okay, dear. Thank you, thank you, Lumberjack. I hope that wolf won't ever come back. Where's my grandma? Where could she be? Yeah. 
is a lesson to this song. Lying to people is always wrong. They won't believe anything you say, even if you really need help someday. I'm really sorry, I tricked my friends. All this lying is gonna end. The boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf. The boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf. Uh, guys, this time they're really Well done for telling the truth, Mark. Yep, no more crying wolf for this boy. <laughs> wow, what a great big lion! And look at that tiny little mouse. I wonder if they're friends. <laughs> Let's tell the twins the story of the lion and the mouse. Yeah! yeah!
sold my house out of hay. The second pig was thinking quick. I'm gonna build my house out of sticks. So she gathered all the sticks she could find and built her house in record time. Sticks, sticks. more time, but the strongest house will be all mine! Bricks, 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 I'm gonna build my house out of bricks! Suddenly, a wolf appeared! So into their houses, the pigs disappeared! Little pig, little pig, let me in! House down! <laughs> oh! No! Little pig, little pig, let me in! Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin! Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down! <laughs>
Papa Bear's chair looked much too hard. Mama Bear's chair looked much too soft. Baby Bear's chair was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. But Goldie was too heavy for Baby Bear's chair, and so... Now she was feeling really sleepy, so decided to go upstairs to lay down her golden head. Papa Bear's bed looked much too hard. Mama Bear's bed looked much too soft. Baby Bear's bed was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just Just as Goldie fell asleep, the three bears returned home to discover they were not alone. Someone's been eating Papa Bear's porridge. Someone's been eating Mama Bear's porridge. Bears chased her right out of their house. Yeah. 